you have an FDA approved medication, it's, it's approved by the FDA. When you start changing the composition around, that's the tricky, that's the gray area. So now um, you, as a compound person, that's fine. But when you make big batches of it, now the FDA wants to classify you as a manufacturer. So once you, once you break down what they've approved and now you put it in a different vehicle, they don't really know what the vehicle is. That's not been approved. So, and then when you stop putting two, three together, well, guess what? There's no, there's no patent, there's no studies on it. We, we just, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen. You know, you can use common sense and say, hey, um, you know, you put these two together, really nothing detrimental is gonna happen. Uh, and that's creams and whatnot. But when you start, you know, putting a couple of different types of pills together and compound, you just don't know. So there is no FDA approval on it. And they could deem it dangerous. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of new um, uh, laws coming down on, on people who compound and it, 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 they get scrutinized a lot. Uh, there was a lot of scrutiny, especially people who compound uh, you know, cancer medications, pain medication, because you wanna know what's going on in there. What, do you, you know, what are you putting together? And uh, that, it, like I said, it could be a gray area when you, when you start talking about, it. yes, it's effective and people who do it, you know, in sanitary and, you know, uh, conditions like under a hood or whatnot, chances are nothing's going to happen. But again, you're, it's, it's open. That's why, uh, you know, we can also get on the side of the insurance companies where they're not going to cover a lot of this stuff because it is not FDA approved.